Kyler was easier to discipline, but uh, he, he could be frustrating to hang out with when he was younger, though, because he was a, he was a know-it-all. He was a know-it-all when he was a toddler, and a toddler is the worst kind of know-it-all because they know absolutely nothing but argue everything. Just constant arguments over just nonsense. I'd be reading him a bedtime story, you know, and then, and then the jaguar walked to the forest. That's a tiger! One of us can read. As I was saying, the jaguar walked to the... That's a tiger! All right, let's play a little game. Raise your hand if you have a degree. Ah, oh, this is awkward for you. <laughs> Raise your hand if you can eat pancakes and not have syrup on your face eight hours later. <laughs> Jaguar. <laughs> Kyle was very, very chatty when he was a little kid too, like, like always talking, just always. Oh man, when you have your first kid, that's when you realize how much you can love another human being. But then they start talking. <laughs> And you realize how much you can love and be irritated by the exact same human being. I loved him so much, but he would just never shut up. In the course of any given day, I would have this thought of like, man, I, I could not love him any more than I do. And then maybe within a minute, I would have another thought of, I'm gonna leave him at the next gas station forever. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Driving around a chatty toddler all the time is like having an insane parrot super glued to your shoulder. There's always this little voice back there, just, Bach, why is there air, Bach? I like hiding carrots in the couch, Bach. I saw a dinosaur swim in some lava. Stop killing my soul, parrots! <laughs> Let me have my thought, just myself, for one minute. Bach, why are you crying? <laughs> Bach, what's a goodbye note? <laughs> Bach, why are you starting a new life in Mexico? <laughs> now that my kids are uh, getting a little older, we're starting to do things that I like to do when I was a kid, which is kind of fun. Like, Kyler's really into graphic novels and comic books. And I feel like we have the same taste. Uh, like with superheroes, you know, he's more of a Superman guy, uh, less of a Spider-Man guy, which I appreciate. If I could erase one superhero, it'd be Spider-Man. I just don't think he's very cool. You know, I feel like you're gonna, you know, invent some superhero. We'll have some cool powers. It's like, what's your, what's your powers? What can you do? I got a web. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. All right, can you, can you fly or anything? I'm uh, more of a swinger, just kind of swing from my way up. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Every Spider-Man movie, he's, you know, kicking butt in some kind of urban environment. Of course he is, you know? Because that's the only place he can do some damage. All right, set the next Spider-Man movie in the, in the Midwest, see how he does. <laughs> Out in some cornfield. Good luck swinging from an ear corn, my friend. <laughs> set the next Spider-Man movie in Lincoln, it's just gonna be two hours of him swinging around the only tall building in town. Come closer so I can help! Just roll credits. <laughs> Kids are starting to like horror movies a little bit too. But I have to be very careful which movies I take them to. Right, because they're still, you know, they're still pretty young. And when kids are, uh, when kids are young, all horror movies are somewhat of a documentary. <laughs> right, they seem very, very real to them. Like, it's crazy when you're younger, your imagination is so powerful. You know, you're not jaded and cynical yet. Like, my kids still need the hallway light left on because monsters are real to them, right? They're actually worried that some monster can, you know, sneak in the house, sneak up into their rooms and get them. Wow, what a crazy, uh, what a crazy reality to live in. And also, how dumb are they to think that the light would actually stop the monster? <laughs> Isn't that a weird thing you do when you're a kid? It's like, let me get this straight. You believe in an evil paranormal entity. You can make it to the house, find you in your room. You also believe 60 watts is gonna shut down their entire operation. <laughs> They're gonna make it all that way and be like, well, I guess we just go back now. <laughs> now he's got a light on him, can't get him. <laughs> I don't have the heart to tell him that if a monster gets in our house, it's gonna tear our family apart. <laughs> if anything, it's gonna get them first because they're lit up in the easiest spot. There's, their stepmom and I will have a chance. We can hear their screams and sneak out of the cover of darkness. Maybe start a new family. <laughs>